Starting the vlog with some coffee. Oh yeah, boy. I've recently gone from three morning browns to two morning browns a day. So this is my second morning brown. This is going to be our first gig since Nano or Steel in May. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Everyone and my favorite band, or at least I think they're my favorite band these days. I'm not entirely sure if I even have a favorite band anymore. Same. Yeah, <laughs> I just like listen to music. I don't oh like God. hyperfixate on one band. How are you feeling about the weather? A bit bummed out. It was beautiful yesterday. And I'm one of those people that like, my mood is determined by the weather, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's not nice today it's rainy and windy so it's like that mizzly drizzly mizzly. shit mizzle yeah it's like mist drizzle nice but it's fine because we'll be on a train and then we'll be in a pub and then we'll be in the venue and it'll be like Ooh. yeah we won't be in the rain for long i almost fell over this <laughs> <laughs> Well, we haven't done this in a while. Oh my God, we haven't. Yeah. When was the first time we went to London? Uh, Twilight Force? Surely mm, not. No. January. Surely not. I'll find out and put it here. Hello. Is it Train Zack again? Welcome to Train Zack's adventure. I've got two bottles. Well, we've got one each, two bottles. I was going to say, you're going to drink them all yourself. No, I'm going to struggle drinking this one. Diet 7 Up and Gin is the prick of choice. The calorie friendly drink. Yes. So we were just talking about the weather at Bloodstock last year. And we were just wondering, would you prefer that heat wave or constant rain? I think I would take the heat wave again. Both for really bad and both for extremes. Yeah. But. You can't get away from the rain though. You can't get away from the heat. I know. You can, <gasps> you can do your best and you can try. Honestly, I genuinely don't know. Would it really be a Claire train journey if I wasn't bleeding? There's no kind lady to give me a plaster this time. No, you're stuffed. You're gonna bleed out. The thing is, the momentum's like. <laughs> it's it just... will stop eventually. Oh, yeah, I've finished it. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. That's. That's near me, That's isn't near it? You. Fair you enough. Drink? Fair enough. <laughs> it's like a Beyblade. I think it's just going to travel off the table. You spun it too fast. I got excited. It's a good thing this is an hour and a half train journey. It's an hour and a half of this fun to That's close to you. Oh, it's rigged. It's rigged. Oh, justice. It was me. <laughs> we made it. Right. We've drunk half of our drink so far. I really wish I poured away more lemonade. Yeah, there's, but a, I, there's a lot of liquid here. Yeah, so. <laughs> we got them. We're quite early though. We're all right. We're gonna go have a piss. We're gonna get the underground to Kentish Town. Yeah. And oh my God, Shrek I love Shrek. Oh my God, it's you. Drink, drink, and then you have to go see Shrek. The I don't want to see Shrek. We were just discussing if Shrek had hair, would he brush it? I don't know. Yeah, because Claire doesn't brush her hair every day. No. I brush my hair like three times a day because I hate having knotty hair. When I have to... Claire, the ogre here, is like, oh, I'm going to brush it every week because I look knotty, shitty hair. When I brush my hair and it, when it's a bit greasy, it looks like shit. Whereas when I like don't brush it, it's kind of like a messy look. So whatever. Are you hot? A little bit. Yeah, you are. Stop it. Stop, keep going. One of my favourite clips that we have is that Equilibrium vlog where I'm like, we've left the venue and we're, we're, going, we're getting the tube back home and there's that guy playing saxophone and he's like, do you need to do it? Do you need to You're so drunk in that clip. I'm so hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's so hot in <laughs> so we have just met what's your name again mark mark we have just met mark and he went to the motley crew gig it was fucking the underground awesome. the small one it was 400, 450 people and it was sweaty as fuck but it was absolutely I'm awesome so jealous fucking so jealous hell. i met him because on the other side of the uh, underground we were both wearing battle jackets and there was just this mutual Nod. respect <laughs> 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 it's like, yes! We're going to Airborne, so maybe yeah. we'll bump into him later. Yeah! But. Hey! Hiya! Uh, uh, so yeah. we just arrived at Kentish Town. Tufnell Park. Tough 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 Park. Tough, tough, so, Park. Tough Nell Park? Yeah. Why is it not Kentish Town? Because the station was closed. So How far away is the station? 10 How 15 minutes walk. Well, so the venue's 10 15 minute walk away? Yeah. Oh, shit. I better spin this quickly. <laughs> on the dirty sinks. 
<laughs> We're um, looking down on some trains and we jokingly said it's Percy but then we realized that like one New Year's Eve in Southampton for some reason we like were like Gordon from Thomas Tank Engine was an absolute cunt. But he is though. And we, we he is. everyone in the room, there was about five there was about ten of us. Everyone in the room just like just got really unrealistically just, just angry, angry <laughs> about how much of a cunt Gordon he, is in he Thomas the Tank Engine. He's like he's like the older generation <laughs> of trains, I feel. Oh. So Can we get all this in London? We sure can, Claire. We sure can. And don't you worry, we'll get you a wand. We'll get you the most magical wand. I in the want an owl. We, we, you can't get an owl, look at you. Aww. Only upper class wizards get owls, you get a toad, you fucking... A toad? Not even a rat? Fucking, you look like something that came out of swamp, fuck <laughs> off there. We're going to Sainsbury's, going to get some coffee, and we're going to get some beer. Beer. So, what I'm thinking is, the coffee's going to bring us up, the beer's going to bring us down. So we're going to be at this mid-level for Airborne, it's going to be mid. I'm, I'm a not bit outraged at 2.40 though, I need the double espresso shot. I don't know if I want to pay that much. It smells uh, like manure. It, it, it actually does smell like manure. Yeah, what? Maybe we've travelled through time. Why are you so sassy? Why are you such a con? Why? Oh my god. I'm so drunk. We've met some lovely people at the pub. What pub is this? The Assembly House. The Assembly House. I got two pints for like half the price. Mwah. So. A pint, a pint of Gavretti in the assembly house is three quid apparently. He got under charge like several times. Twice. Twice. So, so I bless this face. <laughs> you ready? Turn it up to 11! Hiya. 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 We're done. 
I yeah. <laughs> I'm God done. Damn it. How good was that? Why did I buy lemon and lime water? <laughs> and lemon and lime water is basically just seven up. Which is what we used to drink on the way here. This is literally the most disgusting thing because it's just. <laughs> if you need convincing that that wasn't a sweaty gig, moisture has been detected in my port. I genuinely just stink of beer. It's like old bread. Like, I don't <laughs> want to be spread. I don't want to be spread. There's so much like beer it. being thrown around that your phone is like... It's like moisture has <laughs> been detected in the port and I'm like, for fuck's sake, just dry uh, up. Dry <laughs> up Dursley, you old prune. I, st I smell so <laughs> bad. We both stink of beer. I smell because horrible. Everyone, everyone, do you mind? We've got to get home. You're like throwing out beers into the crowd. It's just landing on us like... Yeah. I smell so bad. <laughs> Did you film much of the audience? Because I was in a no state to film. I kept trying to film, and then every time I like got my camera out, it seemed like a threatening time. To film. <laughs> Literally, there was the most intense crowd I've been in yeah, in a while. It was very crazy. Like every time I whip my camera out, I'm like, I might lose my camera <laughs> in like three seconds. Airborne <laughs> fans are like so lovely but yeah. so mad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's always a guaranteed like energy with that. Yeah. Um, if if you really fall like over, it. they will pick you up, but they will make sure that you're covered in beer. <laughs> I, I fell over. Do you remember? Were you yeah. There? I, you I pick. Me? Yeah, you I helped help pick you up. Yeah. I fell, and everyone helped pick me up. And then after that, I was like. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be here right now. <laughs> I was in the pit for like the last five songs. Yeah, you were. It was good fun. It was great because I saw you having so much fun. Did you? Yeah. Did you, you actually? Had a time of your life. Were you watching me? Yeah, I was. I was like a proud parent, like Did I sending fall my over? child off into the swimming pool. For the <laughs> Did you watch me fall over or anything? No, I didn't actually see you fall over. You're a natural. Yeah, the time I let you free into the the waters. <laughs> Who's gonna hydrate next? <laughs> oh wow, that was so that was so obviously me. We're back in Eastbourne at ten to two. I'm dying for a wee and Zach has a headache. I have a headache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's 1.50 in the morning. I smell like beer. I stink like old wheat. <laughs> old hops. old wheat. Old hops. Old hops. So, but that was really good. I just need bed now. Last night was fun. I didn't quite realize how emotional I would get. Probably to do with the drinking, but didn't realize how much Airborne meant to me. They played Bottom of the Well, which I wasn't expecting. Story time. When I was 18, I broke my leg and I almost lost it. I might go into more detail about it one day, but I was in hospital for a month. And when they said that I could go home, if I managed to get my leg at a right angle, which I realize now that that person is a dumbass because that shit takes time. But now I had Bottom of the Well on repeat. I played so much Airborne when I was in hospital and Bottom of the Well really got me through that shit. So when they played it, I was like, I, I just started crying. So it just brought back all these emotions. And I didn't realize how much they really meant to me and how impactful they've been in my life. Music, it does stuff to you. It's crazy. <laughs> Your stuff's in the washing machine. Airborne fans. It is. <laughs> it's disgusting. Yeah. Can't be dealing with that. No. I was, the moment I got up this morning, I was just like, no. <laughs> it's like, what did you say earlier about airborne gigs? I said, have you even been to an airborne gig if you're not covered in bruises and stink of beer? <laughs> Completed it. It was a good night, though. From what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a good <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I don't like getting that drunk anymore. No. The last time I got really that drunk at when 
I mean, insert clip of me being held up in a chair. <laughs> I was probably more drunk then actually yeah, because I was doing shots and stuff. Yeah, and like then you wouldn't have been able to like navigate your way back to Victoria Station. Yeah, we'll end it here. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And oh, oh I need to go to bed. <laughs>